might have to turn off the stream. I don't know if this is Twitch friendly. <laughs> no, no. Didn't hear it. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch loves jacuzzi streams. Uh, we're going to round one. Recon from Nice. Support AGO. I think that super pickup is actually like pretty huge. They're giving a nice that ZRS again. I think that's a wise choice. Even giving him the Tachi so he's got like a backup weapon. Oh, does G wait? Does Flurk have an AFK? They do. People lovers AFK. Flurk, how did you ready up? Why would you do this? He's, AFK, he's not here. Oh no. Oh, oh, they get did get the early ghost pickup though, so they, oh, they dropped it. Nice to go uh, back for the pretty heavily in like the shrine area here. Yep, nice to go for Marmol. Agile trades, Marmol gets the grenade out. I, I don't think that Flurk has recognized the people over AFK because I haven't seen a pause come out. So now Lamp is stuck behind the ghost in like the wrong direction. Yeah, and here comes Agile, he's gonna pop him so out. He doesn't know us. If you're GB here, oh, don't kill him. You should cap on him. Like, this is cop. This is not pub. You should cap on this man. I'm not joking. Like, I, I know it, it, like, you feel dirty doing it, but if they readied up and they have a player FK, <laughs> that's on them. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to spicy Ooh. start to uptown, everybody. <laughs> oh, of course it's uptown. Of course it's uptown where that happens. Uh, please pause, Flurk. Like, are you yeah. going to Are you gonna legit? He's stuck. What? I don't like. He didn't, he didn't even think anything. he was trying to move. What? No, he's not just stuck. He's crashed. Uh, they need to pause. Like, I'm not gonna pause for them. I'm not on their team. Oh my god. He's All right. Well. Pause. Oh, he's back in. I guess. Yeah. Oh, he's in. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm yeah. confused. But we're just gonna gloss over that. That was. Uh, they're just getting inside their heads. That's what Flurk's doing. Yep. It's so, like Ed Geel's got that early MX as a result of the yeah. yeah, round two MX is brutal to go up against, especially on this map. Wall bangs are going to be dangerous. And three, it's whether or not he knows it. Three flirt players have penetrated the GB defenses. Can they find out the correct flank points? They're all right next to each other. They just need to get into position. BK getting devastator. He could get a second as well here. He's in a very good angle. Oh, he gets spotted. Yeah, he's at literally one HP, uh, so he can't really leave. He can grenade. Oh, oh flumps it. People love it gets him. And GB have that ever important ghost control right now. But Nice is contesting it. Oh, you can get penetrated through if you don't leave that wood. Nice. Three v one here. He gets the jump on Andrew, but that support meets just too strong, and uh, GB's cleaning up. Yep, round two for GB. Strong start, obviously helped by that round one, but still. Flurk can easily come back, they're a strong team. They just need to adapt their play to this map. Alright, so you gotta stop, like your order number one for Flurk, stop the snowball. Uh, this is the, your one chance before they get sergeants. If they get MXs as a whole team on GB, MX advantage is massive on this map. Just because there's a lot of tight corridors and like the MX just chews through people. Yeah. But he going in for an early grenade over garden. Doesn't elect to throw it, someone else does instead. Yeah, there's nobody contesting it though. Yeah, you've got to learn that grenade angle to get it through to the actual kitchen area. I, if they push through, there's nobody, there's literally nobody to stop them. Yeah, looks like everyone else is on the other side of the map, maybe... Yeah, I don't see a single person that's there to actually cover their spawn as Flurk, so... GB doesn't realize this, but they just have a huge window if they want it. I might no, actually gone, finally come back to try and stop it. Armor gets a double. Yes, trades out. Nice grenade. 3v3 here. Slight damage on Putty, but otherwise equal all around. You do have yeah. that untouched support with the MX, though. So... Oh, people over, though, catch up top, though. Good position to defend from there. It's not one you would expect. He can get a second, gets a second. Nice. Agile's the raid boss right now, though. He's still at 87 HP. He's got the MX. He's got the support. He can kill people over right now. He turned around at the last second. How? Did he not have a call-out? I think he wisely, like... He actually does need to fall back here. He 
recognizes that the ghost is right beneath him and he would not be able to stop the cap if he pushed for any forward farther than he did he if he had pushed forward any farther there. they could have just pushed the ghost through and then taken for a free cap all right they're pairing up here and now going for the ghost so wise plan you need a 2v1 agile here you need to find out where he is and then just 2v1 him you can't oh, find him this, alone the staggering they do get the call off though oh, that's, that's what they do the Good defense attempt from Agile there, uh, but well played by Flirk to bring this back to a 1-2. And most importantly, the only person to get Sergeant so far on GB is Agile, who is the most comfortable player on going support for the MX other than maybe Tafa. Ace does have Corporal, he's sticking with his ZRS Assault though. Yeah, I think that's a wise plan though. Like the assault supa is just it's super risky on this map. Like there's a lot of long corridors, it's really hard to get in position with it. Okay, it looks like we've got some pool play from GB. It's smart, that is where the ghost is. You do need to get that ghost control. It's in a dangerous position to push though. Again, I think this is shown like the so far this map has shown like why it's plays to GB strengths. Like if you get this ghost control, eventually the enemy has to come to you. So long as you're playing defensive everywhere else in the map. Oh, it gets a free pick up funny though in kitchen. Yeah, and Fleur could push forward into the restaurant so they can flank pool easily from the lower floor or just go up and get killed. Nice somehow just like got in the middle of the, all the GB players and gets killed, but now they know where at least Hatha is. Oh, Toffa gets that second. Lamfada trades out, but they have to have the call out now. Yeah, GB's in a really tough position here. Uh, Flurk has hiding stash on them. So it's Hedgehog what... comes in. Oh, that's bad. The MX is just massive. Grenade. Oh, goes over. Ooh, somehow didn't kill him. Question mark. That should have killed him. Oh, there we go. Great second boss time again. Now. 1v1 lamp going in. He turns at the last second. Okay, he still got 16 HP. Yeah, so, lamp out of pulls back. How gutsy are you as lamp here? Do you go for it or do you just take the safe? Yeah, time? yeah, you go for it. You you, you go for it. Uh, do what he's doing right now where you just rotate the angle and force, like, get in Agile's head. Because he was indecisive there, he turned around at the last second and took a lot of damage for it. So he can get the angle here. As we can see, Agile's, yeah, he's repositioning into a worse position than he was before. I know you're thinking, oh, he's got over there. But he he's lost the full sight line. Yes, Ghost is on that side, so it's easier for him to defend it. But Lamfada isn't going to play that. He's in, he instead went for the angle. Yeah, Lamp does take the tie out. here, which I think is, is, is actually a completely reasonable play. You know that Agile has that MX, so the, you're two, like one shot, two shot, and you're dead. And you, you can't react to that in time. Mm -hmm. So just taking the safe bet of stalling the aggression, because if they had lost that round, the, like the, they would have had another sergeant on GB. So you don't get the win, but most importantly, you didn't lose. You got some more XP for it. Yeah. Agile is sergeant but he sticks with the mx support which i think is smart he's getting a lot of value out of it those yeah, gradual like flanks he's going for and getting kills just showing that the longer the rounds go on the team that has the more meat generally is getting an advantage just the higher weapon value and the higher meat value is definitely paying off for them yeah and we're seeing that uh look are liking to play those flags at the pool a strong position to be in as we see putty getting that initial pick off and devastated but there is somebody there waiting oh that nade landed right on marmo's feet we're trying to collapse on gb right now but gb's in a hyper defensive position it's really hard to push into this room and that's getting shown as they're getting picked off one by one yeah they tried to push in there but the support was there waiting so that meat just stopped that recon grenade coming out from people lover yeah, just really showcasing that's really hard to push these tight corridors when there's literally two or three players all covering each other in there. Oh, buddy, unfortunately, run out of ammo there. Lamp's still at a healthy 45. He's a player too. Tatha maybe not recognizing that window is there. That's a, that's a really uh, uncommon spot to see players peek. So now it's Agile and DK trying to 2v2. Oh, people love it. You had to have noticed that. Yeah, you see the block. DK's far from 
eyes there. And you'll not, he sees the cloak, but he, he doesn't exactly know where the player is. Lamp finds him out from where he shot. So, Fork, take it back, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so evening it out there. Um, interesting position to play there from Ghost Brigade. That, that room itself is difficult to hold if you're playing the reception area rather than the upstairs spiral. Uh, you give up a lot of the map there, and you're kind of just asking to get rotated on. To their credit, though, they did an extremely efficient job of defending it. Just over the long run, I think they got stuck there too long, so that eventually all of the flanks coming in just would ground them down. Got yeah, turned that into that 2v2, which they slowly, slowly lost, but... Yeah, 100%. The natural ability to trade really kept them in the round there. It's like yeah, a it lot of... TV players waiting for... Lurk to push wisely, getting that quick two-person lead, which is just so critical for so many of these rounds. So now it's up to GB. Can you capitalize off this? If Flurk does not respond right now, they, you can cap. Yeah, this nice is a very is out of position. Particularly when players are falling, so where are you, Nice? Nice? Yeah, oh, he's... no, Nice. You're going to give them a free cap if you don't get your hands on right now. But he went for the kill. Thankfully, Beaky maybe not recognizing, but you know what? To be fair... GB doesn't even like Lieutenant Weapons, and they all had got Sergeant off of that, so you know what? Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a net positive. But, like, just guaranteeing that you get that round when you're tied 2-2 is probably the smartest. But granted, yeah. I don't think there's any world where Nice can pull that back, but you never know. Yeah, but maybe he had it in the back of the head, so he was a recon, and he may have got the pick on the Ghost Carrier. Still four assault, one recon from Plurk here. They've been kind of doing this both this map and last map. I'd like to see at least one of their players rotate into support to kind of counter Agile here, but not seeing that so far. Yeah, they're trusted in their own MX player on Lanfada here to be able to take them out, all their grenade usage. There's a gun. Yeah. Smart concerted push into pool here with Marmo and Agile. Uh, getting yeah. people over who's only playing by himself, and now they've kind of got access to the ghost. They can actually push this and cap extremely quick if they got the guts to. Does Flirt nice. recognize it? Nice managed to rotate through two GB players and didn't get caught out here as he gets the angle on Agile. Very smart player there from Nice. Yeah, well, very well done. Like, it just GB hesitating a little bit too long with that ghost control, I think. Yeah. Meanwhile, BK is like just like running around trying to get a flank. He's got the angle for it. Devastator is trying to go for a cap here, but BK should be in position. Putty's in position. Patha desperately trying to catch up. Oh! I was gonna say, is Devastator gonna cl clutch out of one HP? Well, he gets one, but Putty in position to take the take the final kill. Okay, so 4-2 in the favor of GP. Flurk, going in around there, more than capable of bringing this back and evening it out. It's not exactly a big lead. Anybody's Flirt, game. Just like they did before, Flurk just needs one round. They need one round where they can get all of their players up to Sergeant just like GB just did, and then it'll be an even playing field. But getting that for one round might be difficult, because GB has definitely been showing that this defensive playstyle on this map, waiting for Flurk to push into them, has been extremely effective so far. Yeah, 100%. They're not in a position where they can really pre nade to stop GB from getting defensive. It's difficult. The initial pick off grenades go out. Yeah, Devastator, like, getting out with that kill. Very well played by him to not just hold his position. Yeah, and he's holding construction. Yeah, you're not going to get damage on that. He's got a 90 degree angle protecting him. Looks like Flirk playing much more passively this round, which I think is a wise choice. They definitely needed to just stop running into the enemy. Oh! Oof. You just like, Lamp just like threw it, just like, I don't know if he's there or not. He just tossed it. No. Just obliterates Marmo. No, he knew he was there. Marmo shot the uh, Roomba to drop oh. the ghost. That gave him away. That's what you get for killing the robot, you monster. Yep. Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. You'll die. Nice getting caught up by BK as he breaks those glass with his feet. BK going for the double here, doesn't get it though. 
The MXS is just less accurate than the ZRS, and you just saw that there yep. again. He had the height advantage, but the ZRS just like it hits more bullets first. Yep. But what? doesn't help you against the support. Yeah, Agile has just been a powerhouse on his team for this map. Just like the slow, solid d defensive support play has just been so hard for Flork to deal with. So he's sticking with the MX, but PZ is actually quite good on this map, I think. And is I know that... some people are going to be. Yeah, I know some people are like, huh? Huh? I it mean... is. It, it is. It is. There's so many areas in this map you can slowly walk through and not be found, not be called out, and get yourself in a position where you can just open up and pre fire every corner, every wall, every angle. It's so hard to get grenaded if you're playing the right positions. You know what, I think actually you, you bring up a good point. Like using the PZ to force your way into an angle and let your team push in is actually extremely powerful. So I, I don't think we'll see any team do that. Nice calling here on the go is trying to bait GB in and they are looking like they're taking an aggressive stance this round. Not like hyper aggressive, but they are pushing forward. Getting that, yeah. You can get the second, but he has to reload. Yeah, Lamp doesn't have anybody to cover him there, just kind of playing alone. Nice is playing with the player here, they're right next to each other, but one grenade will kill both. And I don't know if a Mozok's going to be able to kill this player, but he does get him. Oh, the Mozok, oh. just accuracy paying for it there. Yeah. Devastator gets one. Get called out. Marmo cleans. 6-2. Uh, really clean play from GB so far. I, I, I unironically think that first round where they got capped on is what allowed them to kind of snowball up to this point. Like GB, that is like getting those early MXs. You're showing that in these a lot of these fights, look, the exception of the MXs versus the ZRS, the MX is just tearing apart these ZRS players. Yep. Nice sticking with the Mozok. I know some people in chat are saying, hmm, Demeter, go for some aggressive recons. I think that it can also work. I said about uh, being a support and being able to push through certain areas of the map and not be seen and called out. Recon can do the same thing. Oh, Ace gets that early pickup that you're talking about, but people over pushing and distracting maybe for a lamp and another player to get out through pool. We'll see if they can utilize this opening that his death created for them. Devastator is pushing out, but he can't find anybody. He's like, I know you're here. We were, like, we just killed people. Where did you go? Yeah, lamp found rotating upstairs. Uh, bunkering up here. The Mozok uh, just. The Mozok had like an angle on Marmo, but just the accuracy wasn't able to kill him, and now just gets killed by the nade instead. Tough break yeah. for Nice there. Alright, land for this. Oh, putty kill it. GB are just on fire this match. Just clean rounds. The flirt just doesn't know how to respond to this style of play. They're just getting swarmed. Definitely. Yeah, definitely gonna have to make some changes there to us to that player. Um, do they just play as five? Just go room by room. I unironically think that just five manning to the ghost and just holding is not a bad play. The one downside you have is that you're down five rounds against this team, so you need to win every single round basically. Um, yeah. So that does put the onus on you to push, but at the very least, if you've got ghost control, you can find a way to finagle that. A A for Torfa here. That confidence showing. Lamp doesn't realize it, but he's got a free flank if he pushes through right now after he kills Torfa. He can get that air pick up that you like to not to. Very critical. I was going to say, oh, 3v2. This is critical. Flurk needs to get together and capitalize on this one player. Devastator getting the solo kill here. He's on the ghost. Yeah. They can cap. PK yep. is completely opposite side of the map, so you got plenty of time to set up and get together here as Flurk. You don't want to get picked off one by one, but nobody's picking up the ghost. They're just grouping up around pool here. Maybe hoping that BK will come fly in and try and contest them, but until you pick up the ghost, yeah, all right, there you go. Yeah, and he's looking the other way, so I didn't see the pickup initially. He's trying to peek out. We just see that like, oh, lamp gets the drop on him. Okay, so that's round one of the potential uh, comeback. Let's see if uh, they can keep it up. 
Yeah, but with that one round, they got two more sergeant players. So now they have four sergeants instead of two. That's just a massive difference in how you can play in this map. You no longer have to be worried about taking those one-on-one -on -one fights so much. Before, you'd get you'd get just killed because MX would out DPS you. But now you can actually take those. So maybe we'll yeah. start seeing some more individual play from them shining here. Yeah, and this is where we're starting to see less value of the support player here because the MX can just chew through that support. Hedgehill's oh. 29 and 5 on this map. What a ma like absolute bad map. Ace was hyper aggressive here, trying to get Oh, he pushes into two players. He's distracting, but he doesn't have anyone to to follow up, it looks like. There's no way he No oh, way. How do you survive that? <laughs> He's got eyes on ghosts too, so they can't like GB can't just like leave the area. They have to like stay there nearby. Ace you gets You can't let him get these picks. You just seen that these hyper aggressive pushes by Ace is when he's able to get one or two kills solo, like just Flurk is able to capitalize on it so much. Yeah, it's a 4v2. 4v0. Oh my god. Well, yeah. You got a game. Yeah, absolutely. Decisive closing out of those last two rounds really shows that Flurk has still got it in him. Now that it's especially got those MXs, they are lethal. Nice has got Sergeant, so let's see if he, if he switches off the Mossock. So 13, 14, 15. It's still... So this the scary thing for Flurk is they don't even have the luxury of going for ties. They don't have a single round. They have to win every single round, and then they have to do Sudden Death. Yeah, so They absolutely. essentially need to win four rounds in a row to win this match. Nice going for the MX here, which I think is going to be very good for him. We, we've we seen that he can get flanks on the enemy team, but he can't quite execute. People oh gets picked People got the, He got the drop on BK, but he didn't kill him. Nice finishes the job, though. He's another player. Can he kill him? Just as I was saying, get a flank on someone, gets the pick on BK. Do it again. Oh, no. Oh. Now it's GB, though. We're making plays. No. It's nice. It's, it's, it's all tonight. on you. Can you can you do it? Can you one v four of this team that's been looking so dominant this match? It's got the ghost. It's ghost it's, 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 it's over. Yeah, he was he was looking at the ghost rather than looking at the uh, spiral stairs. Well fought though. Like both teams just this every like first round sudden death, second round almost sudden death. Like literally ten HP. Otherwise, it would have been sudden death. Third round, finally a 4-7, but even then, like, Flurk was showing a lot of life winning a couple rounds in a row there, so... Very well played by GB to take, uh, the first tiebreaker round. Putting them Absolutely. up, 1-0. Uh, -oh. If they beat Bonk, uh, they will win the tiebreak tiebreaker set. Yeah, and to do that against Flurk as well, who, who were playing very strong, like, uh, it's impressive. So, very well played.